Hi, this is Steve Black, and I wanted to do a quick lesson for you on how you can leverage a unique feature that very few people know about on Facebook, and it's a migration of your personal friends to likes on a business page that will be created. You can only use this one time, so what I recommend is getting a lot of friends, uh, making sure that you've went through your old business cards, your uh, invites that you have from other people, and then when you feel like you're connected with as many folks as you want to be connected with, then use this uh, migration feature. And I've set up a special link to make it easy for you. So here we are logged into my assistant's account, and uh, she wants to create a business page. It's going to be a public figure page. It's going to automatically be created for her. What we're going to do is go to an open tab, and we're in the Chrome browser, and we're going to type in businesssuccesstraining.com forward slash migrate. We're going to hit enter, and that's going to take us to uh, the menu here to create a Facebook business page based on your personal profile. We're going to left click, get started, and it's literally just a couple clicks, and this will be accomplished for you. Now, if you already have a business page set up, uh, you'll be able to merge these two together, but that's a little more complicated. So I will give you a warning that you may end up with two business pages for a while. But we're going, we went ahead and clicked get started. We're just, uh, I'm actually doing this in my car in the passenger seat uh, while I'm being driven down the highway. So uh, a little bit of a spinning wheel here. But it's going ahead and says, wow, you created a new business page. Now it asks me, what do I want to do uh, next? So we'll go ahead and click, click, uh, click continue. And it should pop up another menu where we'll be able to automatically invite people. And that's the real beauty of this, automatically invite people to like your page. So we're going to go ahead and uh, change this from artist. We'll, we'll change it to realtor. Same, save changes. We'll leave everything else the same. We'll add a phone number. We'll save the changes. And then we'll click next. Now here's the power of what we're doing. Um, they only let us do this one time, and we'll be able to choose the friends to like our page. In this scenario, we're going to just choose all of our friends to like the page. So let's do it. Let Facebook do its thing. And then these people will automatically be liking this business page. And she has 329 friends. She'll end up with about 310 likes. For some reason, a few of them don't automatically end up liking the page. Um, but it's very hard to get people to like your page. Uh, there is an argument to be made for going after getting organic likes, but at the core of it, if you're connected to people on Facebook, they're going to be probably supportive of your business. So this is a good way to get a lot of likes in a short amount of time and connect with the people who know you like you and trust you, especially when you're in a relationship business like real estate as Amanda is in this scenario. So, um, once it would populate, and this doesn't usually take very long on a, uh, on a uh, fast connection, as I mentioned, I'm in a, on the highway. But uh, once it does, we'll just go ahead and select all friends, we'll click next, and then we'll give it a, no more than an hour to populate, and uh, we'll end up checking back in, and we'll have a bunch of likes on this business page. So it's that simple. Uh, I encourage you to move forward and give it a shot. Uh, if you don't like the end result, you can always delete this page and uh, start again. Okay, so now it's uh, said, hey, we have 317 friends here on Facebook. We're gonna click the select all button. It's gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and click next. Uh, it gives us the option at this point to add pic uh, photo albums to our uh, page. So if we'd like to take some of the stuff that was on our personal profile and add it, we will do that. And we'll click finish. 
It says it'll take a few minutes. And if we were to check back in in a few minutes, uh, we'd end up uh, finding a uh, how many likes we have. So right now we're taken to the menu for her new business page. And um, let, me, let me check something. And now, uh, just a few minutes later, we've already got 291 likes. This should grow as we uh, increase over a few minutes. And let's say that she had another business page out there where she's been struggling and only has 30 or 40 likes. I would just recommend taking the other page, deleting it. Uh, to do that, she would just go up here to settings. She would then go to general, and then she could go ahead and remove the other page. Um, in, the, in this scenario, she this is her first uh, business page, so she'll just roll right out of the box with almost 300 likes. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and uh, I encourage you to implement it. Uh, part, part two to this is to go ahead, if you already have an existing page, let's say with a few hundred likes and you want to merge them together, then uh, they've got to be named the same thing and it gets kind of complicated. But this first step is real easy and uh, I hope you take advantage of it.